How does a winemaker know when his or her wine has aged long enough and is ready for bottling? So it's really an independent case-by-case -case basis for the grape varietal or what the winemaker is looking to do. But what they're, what they're looking to do when they're using an oak barrel is they're looking for some oxidation. They might be looking for some flavors to be enhanced. Realistically, it's a, it's a seasoning thing, much like a chef. There's not a one-size-fits-all. You can't say that every Merlot should be aged this long or every Chardonnay should be aged this long. It's truly a personal preference to where the grapes came from and what they want to achieve on the other side. So typically what you're going to get from something that's been barrel aged, one of the delicious flavors are, is a little bit of vanilla and some baking spices, kind of a toasty, nutty thing. And sometimes you get a little cinnamon, a little bit of smoke, a little bit of toast. Um, those are all delicious flavors that come from wines being aged in casks or in oak. The other thing that can happen is the, the flavors, the secondary flavors, meaning the non-fruit flavors, can help to be enhanced from some oak as well by allowing the little evolution to take place with a little bit of oxygen going through and really allowing the, the wine to catch its breath, as it were, to have a little more, little more layers of flavor imparted on the wine.